them, 100 million came online in the last two years. 70% of these users are from rural areas who are accessing internet in a language, English, which is not their preferred language. So while it's great to see how India has adopted the internet and embracing the digital lifestyle, we've also seen an explosion of scams, fraud, phishing, um, malware, and prevalence in India. And as we think of this, it really underscores the importance of investment in cybersecurity in the country. If you scan the headlines over the last year or so, you'll see that there's been some very severe cybersecurity attacks in the country's infrastructure, mostly in the space of you know, ransomware. Um, however, even beyond secure enterprises, so even if your, um, your products are secured, we have seen Indians fall victim to social engineering attempts that really increase scams in the country. And that is why we need to think about how can we make this better. So the solution in this and the path forward actually lies in technology itself. We don't need more security software. We need more software that is secure by itself. Our cybersecurity foundation is based on three principles, protect, empower, and advance. We take our first and foremost responsibility to protect users, businesses, and governments using our technology and our expertise. Our mission in India is to make internet helpful and safer for a billion Indians so that India can be the leader in digital economy in the world. But protecting people starts with people. We have a significant uh, gap in trained cybersecurity professionals in the country. We have a significant opportunity for investment in this space. And that is why last year we announced a number of initiatives, including our cybersecurity roadshow, the Google Startup Accelerator program, and we took an ambitious goal of training one lakh developers in technologies like encryption, secure coding to make products more stable. And we are marching ahead very, very strongly and stay committed to that goal. But in addition to people, we also use cutting edge technology in AI and ML to prevent user harm. Here's a few examples. Many of you use Google Pay. Every day, we, we block one lakh transactions that would have been fraudulent. Every day, we send two lakh alerts to people trying to transact on GPay, and, and those two lakh alerts are based on our intelligence of our models on machine learning. And guess what? 40% of users actually cancel the transaction. So that actually tells us how much we are able to use our technology to prevent fraud and abuse. Compromised passwords is a huge challenge in the society. We were the first company to make two-factor authentication a default in our products. And oh, for our users in India, we made it easier by offering that through assistant in Hindi. Switching on to content safety. As you know, many of our products uh, are content rich. They host a lot of content. We take the responsibility of ensuring safe content for all users very, very seriously, especially we want to make sure women and children are safe online. We have zero tolerance for child sexual abuse imagery. We are the world's leader in detecting child sexual abuse imagery on the internet. And we don't just protect it on our products, but through our content safety APIs, we actually externalize our knowledge and expertise to other businesses so that they can use it and make internet safe for children. Our goal is to remove uh, child sexual abuse content from the internet before anybody gets access to it. You all would remember in the last couple of years, we have heard some really 
uh, heart-wrenching stories about personal loan and, and abuse that happened associated with personal loan apps. As soon as we came to know, we swung to action, worked with law enforcement agencies, worked with regulators like the RBI, and we launched our personal loan app policy, and we removed thousands of loan apps from the Google Play Store so that users continue to be protected. But this year, we're taking it one step further. We have launched our financial services certification policy, whereby now in India, anybody who wants to run advertisement on financial services products have to go through an independent verification and certification. And just to put some numbers, in 2022, we removed 5.2 billion ads, we restricted 4.3 billion ads, and we suspended 6.7 million advertiser accounts for failing to comply with our policy. With our recent acquisition of Mandiant, which is the world leader in cybersecurity, we have really bolstered our cybersecurity offerings. In addition, Google also hosts the very coveted TAG, or Threat Analysis Group, which is a group that actually studies uh, nation and state actors um, around the world and issue the bulletins that are consumed by governments, that are consumed by cybersecurity professionals. Just last year, they have issued over 100 such uh, bulletins and alerts, uh, especially in light of the Russia and Ukraine conflict. Our cybersecurity approach, as I said, is built on foundation of protect, empower, and advance. On empower, we believe, especially for a country like India, it's extremely important to enable and empower civil society and consumers. So we have taken extensive education uh, attempts uh, many of you must have seen our videos on YouTube uh, titled Raho Dokadam Age. Uh, they have been a big uh, advocate for user safety, and we continue to focus on empowering civil society in keeping them safe online. And of course, uh, we are a technology company. We're extremely proud of the investments we make on leading edge technology. Uh, in today's world, that's around generative AI and large language models. And we are extensively using that technology to continue to advance our cybersecurity protections. But we can't do this alone. Internet is a large multi-stakeholder ecosystem. And we can only do that in partnership. And we can only do that in partnership with all of you, which is government, industries, and civil society. Safety online is also not a one and done thing. It is a day in, day out uh, run against the bad actors who are trying to find every single gap hole in the Internet's guardrails. And we continue to be committed in that journey. As we say, safety is not a compliance checkbox. It is the way we do things. Our mission continues to be about building a safer Internet for everyone. It is not one more thing to do. It is the only thing to do together. Thank you for being an amazing audience and continue staying safer with Google every day.